Right, let's follow him, yeah. James and Mark had walked to a quieter spot on the beach. James went behind a rock and picked up a black bag and gave it to Mark. Both men began talking. Right, here. It's all there I get from the last client. Take it to him. We're going to deliver the rest of the goods to Lawrence and Mac. So we'll meet again. In about three hours. You remember where, right? Yeah, no problem. Well, good, I'll see you later. Right, Steve, go follow James, and if anything happens, contact me. Right. On this road, we'll turn left, we'll pull the road up until Hello <laughs> oh, Mark, long time no see. What the fucking shit? <laughs> Was full of money. There must have been over five million pounds. Nice case of cash you got here, Mark. Just care to tell me what it's all for? Screw this! I don't need this fucking shit from you, Mark. You fucked around with me the last time we met, and it won't happen again. Where is this money going to? Into the bath. John Bailey. Yes. What's the money for? I swear I don't know. No questions, no answers. Where is Bailey? Where are you meeting James in three hours? I'm the man's name here, but the boss be there. I'll take this to him personally. I didn't want to kill him. Killing my own brother was bad enough, but Mark left me no choice. I now finally knew where John Bailey was, and now I was coming for him. The basic plan, no time to die. I tried contacting Steve to help me, but he wasn't answering his phone. Guess I was on my own. I just hoped he'd managed to catch James beforehand. The place had changed a lot since the last time I was here. I cut through the side of the mansion like I'd done once before. I put down Bailey's bag of money behind the big tree. Like the last time, I was expected. It was James. He'd obviously given Steve a slip, but he still didn't explain why he wasn't answering his phone. James ran round the back. I knew his game. He wanted me to follow him. It was probably a trap. 
I decided to go round the other side and surprise him. Lucky for me, a door at the back was open. It led into a games room. There was a large snooker table and a dartboard among other things. Just then, it all went dark. Oh! When I awoke, I was back outside in the garden. I was tied up on a bench, and right there in front of me was James. On the floor next to me was Steve and standing by was another man I'd not seen before. This was John Bailey. Uh, Steve! Well, 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 Mr. Davis. We finally get to meet in person. Is he alive? Well, yeah, sort of. I mean... He's alive and well, but soon he'll be joining your brother. That you killed. Fuck you, you prick! You tricked me into killing him! Hmm, <laughs> basic plan for me, Why? Why did you kidnap him? Why did you kidnap Richie? Your brother <sighs> meddled in our affairs. James and Mark were discussing business which didn't concern him. And what does he go and do? He gets himself involved. He meddled in our affairs, basically. So I had my boys follow him to the pub one night and kidnap him. He told us everything. He told us about your family, he told us everything about himself. He squealed like a pig. He was the only family I had. You're gonna pay for this, Bailey. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no. What's the business? You have something that belongs to me. What? The money that Mark was gonna give me, where is it? Piss off. What do you mean? Piss off! The money, where is it? If you don't tell me, I'm gonna blow your fucking head off, okay? Alright. It, it's, it's under that tree over there. Go get it. It fucking sharpish like. all here. That'll be all Mr. Davis. Now, it's time to finish the job. Who do you reckon we should kill first? I think we should kill his friend first. It'd be a nice way for him to go since he's unconscious. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you get off on killing more than I do. I'm off. Oh, oh yeah. When Mark gets here, leave him for him, okay? Get me. Mark's dead. I killed him. What did you say? 